Hello Marvel Heroes fans, this is a video on Silver Server and quite a number of you have requested for this video so I put aside my time and try to uh, analyze him, understand him and uh, practice, play along with him and so on. So um, I know a lot of you probably expect me to do a movement build uh, but unfortunately his movement build can make me a little bit dizzy. I got motion sickness playing him you know, running around and so on because he's really fast when it comes to movement. So I can understand for those who can take the cup like a motion, uh, he is probably one of the <laughs> a blast really playing him as a, as a movement cup hero. So, but I, I sort of like, um, you know, in the end, I still stick with my original build as of like, um, you know, one year ago when Silver Surfer just came up. I was in love with his uh, EMF Cup ability because I think it's very very special. It's very exciting back then to see like you know the, the beam getting you know bigger and bigger and you know that it's getting more and more powerful. Uh, also remind me of uh, Doom as well because Doom you know Doctor Doom has a power. The villain has a power that you know have the cup like a very long you know cosmic cup like a you know a beam that come out. So it, it always I always fantasize uh, like two of them beaming each other and see who die first. So yeah, um, but that aside, I mean. Um, I, I stick back to my old bill uh, for Silver Silver and the, uh, I have a lot of fun. I think that there, there are some improvement to the hero itself himself but uh, I'm still hoping that there are more improvement because it still feel a little bit clunky playing him um, as a mix of EMF and uh, because you can't escape from movement anyway uh, there, there, aren't, there aren't that many power a lot of power you can execute while he's moving around moving around anyway so EMF is one of those that you could potentially uh, use to, on, on, on a single target now the um, from the from the training room in a controlled environment whereby you could get sufficient buff to EMF on the three stages because for EMF, uh, one thing interesting about EMF is that um, you know, it, it, it's sort of like it has a stage 1, 2 and 3 because you know, it, it gets stacked up uh, the, you know, for the first second you only deal like normal damage the second second you, you, know, uh, you deal actually 50% buff then after that another 50% buff so, EMF does his staging 1, 2, 3. On top of that, it has this, um, you know, uh, uh, different phases as well because, you know, depending on you have uh, subspace, uh, rave, deconstruct, or even the signature event, uh, event horizon, the EMF beam become very, very, very powerful. And that's why, you know, I, I sort of like enjoy playing him because it feel that, you know, at that moment when you can grab it, the power is there. But that's the control environment. In reality, it's extremely hard to to have the three, uh, you know, kind of like a effect persist, because um, you know, be because in reality, the bosses move around, especially in cosmic patrol or even cosmic terminal. It's very rare that the boss will just stand there and you know eat the three stack of like um, you know three layer of damage over time and uh, let you do an EMF uh, you know, on him. <laughs> it's a very, very rare situation, maybe raid, yeah? So, in view of that, I think um, either build, I I'll show you some numbers later, either build BS EMF or the movement build, I reckon is going to be roughly similar, all right? But I still prefer EMF. It's like one of those, um, you know, power that hold very dear to my heart. So my apologies if you were expecting a movement build and in the end you just get a video on EMF. So yeah, right. But uh, in a control environment, he's very, 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 very powerful. In fact, uh, kind of shocked me with his uh, kill time on the dummy. I don't know what happened. Is it? Oh, that, that, I mean, all the heroes nowadays are getting really like, you know, big kind of like uh, improvement after the unique upgrade so I mean uh, another thing is that I've got uh, quite a lot of my power at 50 I mean I think the unique upgrade has really kind of a skew the hero into I've, I've got like all these things are like like 50 I mean this is truly amazing um, and, and that of course speaks of itself I mean the time to kill is great so now um, so why should you play Silver Surfer? Um, I, I think he's very unique. He's one of those rare hero, hero whereby even as you level, you don't need to do much. You just move around, surf around, and the mob just die on your knees, you know, at your knees. And the, uh, you can do a little bit more, you know, spam a little bit of like uh, power here and there. And he has zero spirit issue, 
no power cosmic. I mean, the, this is called power cosmic, by the way. No, no resource issue at all. He's uh, totally agile, and um, and yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think that's why a lot of you love to play uh, Silver Silver. And even though you know this video is not on EMF, I'll share the number on the on the movement build later as well. In the event where I want to pick and make something else, just tweak the build that I've got. All right, so um, without further ado, some in-game video, and after that, talk about build and rotation. All right. All right, cosmic uh, pyro, and after that, uh, Magneto. So uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of movement going on. Uh, if you are a little bit dizzy, my apologies because that is how he plays. So the uh, I'm trying to farm more pyro, kind of like a medallion as well, because you always need some, All right? So just put him on the same place. And now, I mean, this is the three stack that I talk about. Now, if that works out, that is really nice. I mean, you know, these are really big damage. So it does look really fast because I happen to use the... Uh, I, there's a hot bar dancing here a little bit. I happen to use the temporal recall to stop him from moving around for a while so that I can land the three kind of like damage over time onto him. But I mean, you know, there's something that you probably would need to consider as well, all right? So today's share quest is on the uh, Trash Doom Castle So I thought maybe I'd show you a little bit on how that plays like And I always forgot to change my costume uh, between all the various game modes Because I tend to be a little bit more like uh, conservative uh, conservative when I'm playing the um, Cosmic Patrol While you know using a health gear as possible But I don't really need it for Silver Server really I mean he's pretty strong so yeah, I mean, as you see right here, I mean, this is what he plays like. It's a serve and things just die, and you know, uh, all these reconstruct, deconstruct, and also singularity. You know, uh, kind of like uh, if uh, the mob still not dead yet, uh, use a uh, repulse, and you know, pretty sure that will be dead. But then, yeah, so that's nice. And do a, okay, so this is the bubble. You need to wait until it's gone. Then do a stun. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Event horizon, and that's it. Right, so that is usually what you need to do. Do a stun on the boss first, making sure that is uh, you know all your three stack of uh, debuff can be on the boss. All right, repulse because you get a little bit hairy here, but um, you know that's all. Okay. All right, so it's very fast. It's uh, it's probably one of the fastest hero I I kind of play in in Doom Castle. Mm, that's very nice. I mean, um, yeah. Very enjoyable when you play him. So yet another that you need to do a stun first and then one, two, three, four, five, and then we pause and after the EMF. I know where he is. There maybe. Yeah, so this is the one that I talk about. Once he leaves the kind of dead zone, uh, you can't really do much about it. It's kind of like unfortunate. And the rift, the core, subspace rift kind of like the animation is a little bit too long for my liking, but that's it is what it is. Right, I mean, uh, when you put the reef down, it's I think a, <laughs> like a second to do it, and uh, I don't know. It just like uh, sometimes I don't even bother with the reef, uh, but only if I want to buff my EMF, um, you know, I'll do that. All right, so that you may consider that too, and uh, just repulse when you need to. Very nice, just uh, walking around, reconstruct, deconstruct, and the singularity, and. Um, I mean, even though I'm not really spared for movement build, I mean, uh, like I mentioned, you can't really escape when you play him. Uh, it's a little bit of movement anyway. Singularity, burst, right? So that's it. So I'm working my way through uh, the castle and the... Um, right. So very, very little spirit issue as well. Singularity. Um, right. Deconstruct, reconstruct. Always uh, on and every pause. Right, so that's all. Very nice. All right, got stung. Okay, so you just uh, need to work my way through, and uh, I think I think it's rather fast. I mean, from progress point of view. Yeah, it's just like uh. I mean, yeah, it's really, really fun moving around, very agile, alright? So, same thing that you need to do. Alright, just uh, repulse, reconstruct, deconstruct, and singularity, that's all. So, I see whether I've uh, accomplished the uh, objective or not. So, okay, I think my objective is done. So, it's just a matter of, like, uh, getting my um, hmm, the bounty. I'm hoping to at least get two, I think I've got two bounty already, so I'm not too fussy about the rest. 
uh, it's kind of hard to get the third one without really being, uh, you know, you have to be quite thorough to get the third bounty actually. But we'll see. Maybe I could. I mean, after all, he's just serving and that's it, right? So, right, deconstruct, reconstruct, and repulse. And after that, I do a stun again. Event horizon and keep my mouse there. Alright, so that's it. So it's nice if the boss just happened to stand right here, which is not always the case. Okay, working my way through. I uh, another what 40 something to do. Uh, maybe another 20. I think I'm running out of mobs, um, but that's fine. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, four. So just uh, EMF, that's it. So for the um, for the phase two, I'm gonna do an ultimate, and I hope that's okay. Um, already, very exciting. Me versus Doom. All right, ultimate. One, one, two, three, four, five, and just like uh, I hope he's actually on my dead zone. I don't know. Anyway, I mean, no, I'm like. Uh, Invulnerable. I don't know why he's moving around. Really, <laughs> it's kind of strange when it comes to Doom. He's like um, just walking around here like that. Okay, so that's all. Um, get out from the stun. So last phase. Yeah, it's nice, right? Isn't it? What do you think, guys? It's nice. All right, man. It's me versus him, and just two beams. Against each other? No, he doesn't even beam me. Er. So yeah, that's all. Uh, Doom with three bounty. Whether <laughs> I got hand of Doom or not? Nah. All right. So this is Cosmic Petrol with uh, Silver Server, and yeah, uh, I think I'm the only one here. Maybe uh, seems a little bit harder. So yeah, I mean, you know, in in a in a petrol environment, it's very nice to have this sort of like a very um, mobile kind of like a you know build because. I mean, he, he's very mobile even with EMF, um, you know, uh, so that is nice. Whenever you can, drop the rift there, cause, so uh, singularity, reconstruct, deconstruct, whatever, construct, so that is it. Alright, so uh, whenever repulse is on cooldown, use it, especially in this environment, so event horizon and the, uh, should be, that should be it. Come on, man. How come mine is not uh, getting bigger, huh? So just uh, idle here. Alright man, that's it. Yeah, it just that after we pause, the thing just get a little bit like, um, you know. Uh, hmm. Alright, reconstruct, deconstruct, and there's a whole bunch of things coming. I don't know, no one is coming here. I think they're they not right, very... Uh, maybe they're they busy with other bosses, huh? <laughs> okay, I've got Iceman coming in. That's great. Okay, time to loot. And after that, uh, I think there are still uh, some idol and my favorite um, uh, minus Titan will be coming up soon. So let me just loot the stuff here. It's a lot of loot here. I don't know whether all these are like, you know, dumped by people on the ground or not. So, okay, and then we continue looting. I can't really loot anything here so hard sometimes. Because there's so many loot that's rather useless. So, ah, uh, Gazillion, man. All this, uh, Green ring, really? Okay, uh, so now it's the uh, Titan. Uh, let's just rush there. I mean, the uh, server is rather, rather fast. Right, so where's Titan? So that's Titan. Right, great, hello. Alright, event, horizon, deconstruct, reconstruct. Alright. Just working through the rotation. Okay, if I want to go backward, it's just like point to the opposite direction. And that's how we do it. Um, make sure it's within the range of reconstruct. Alright. If I want to go there, maybe I go to this side. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's Mr. High there as well. Exciting! Event Horizon. Deconstruct, reconstruct. So I want to go a little bit closer, so I want to click here, alright, so that's it. 
still stay away from his uh, beam. It's important. So what do I do? Like this. Right. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a little bit of like getting used to when to do what, and uh, sometimes you just want to get a bit further. So that's minus Titan, and then uh, he's going to do his beam again. All right. Event Horizon again. Mr. High is there. Careful though. High can be quite powerful. All right. So yeah, I mean, if you click onto yourself, there's a high chance that uh, it doesn't remove anywhere, which is what you want, right? So that's what I usually do. And the, um, yep. Okay, so it's a bit strange uh, on playing him on the repulse because uh, that's how it rolls, so. All right. Even Horizon. So hope this gives you some idea how it plays like. I mean, you know, uh, just a little bit of like, you know, uh, on the petrol environment, all right? Welcome back to the training room. I hope you have an idea of how he plays like, how agile he is and so on. So yeah, I mean, it is very exciting when the EMF kind of like get the three buff times the three kind of like a DOT effect on it. Uh, but sometimes you don't get it. So that is the part of puzzle of uh, playing. Silver Server, alright? So when it comes to the build, I'm going to walk through some of these powers with you for your consideration. You may tweak it anyhow you like, um, you know, that's relevant to your playstyle, alright? So my job is here is more like uh, describing the build and uh, give you options to kind of vary from it, alright? So uh, when it comes to EMF build, of course, you know, EMF is the one that you go for. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the, the beauty of EMF is that it itself has three stages to it you know first second 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 and third second and also it has like the you know three different effect on it that uh, you buff it up to 75 percent in addition to the 100 percent that you have um, you know so that makes uh, emf a pretty powerful you know kind of like a tool if you get it right all right so that is one of them and then the, when it comes to the layer so you know whenever after you pick the spender the next question you ask yourself is that uh, what should my spender be so a uh, layer be so uh for damage over time you know uh, deconstruct and reconstruct is very nice because it kind of worked uh, you know in synergizing each other i wish that this was something like a passive though i mean you know because every time I use uh, Deconstruct, I will immediately use Reconstruct to reduce the cooldown of uh, Deconstruct from 12 seconds to 6 seconds, right? I mean, that's it. You know, I, I, I don't really care about what I do here because this for me, uh, I mean, of course, you get a little bit of health regen and power cosmic is very nice. But uh, what I really want is that to shorten this to 6 seconds instead of 12 uh, because this is like a damage over time for 6 seconds only. So uh, after deconstruct, always use a reconstruct. Another thing is the singularity. Very nice for you to recover the power cosmic. Um, it does a moderate amount of, uh, you know, uh, energy damage as well is qu is quite nice because it doesn't eat up too much animation time on it so that is one thing now the subspace riff is something i really i don't really like it because you can only have one at a time it is not particularly powerful and as and when the boss move around i have to drop it again and the animation is really slow so uh, i don't quite know what why it is designed to be that way i mean i've seen other heroes whereby you can drop like a uh, vulnerability debuff dot that zone various places in the map and uh, you know i can't do it for silver server and this is not even great i mean this power here is not even great but you need it to buff the emf all right so uh so that's nice uh and after that's uh event, event horizon as well is good it refreshed the cooldown although i haven't said that i mean it doesn't quite matter too much because by the time you drop the event horizon, you are very excited to get your EMF onto your boss. Whether you want to do the rest of it to sort of like delay the animation, you probably not. So, I don't know, man. I mean, I, I don't really fancy the, uh, the event horizon too much because it, it kind of like uh, the boss move around as well. And the, uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> the area duration is 8 seconds but um, you know once you see some of the boss move away from it the 8 seconds is gone it does no damage yeah so I mean that's the only complaint I have with the uh, silver server when it comes to all this like EMS build but in, in the event whereby the boss kind of stationary like in uh, maybe sometimes sometimes you can patrol as well if there are some tanks around to group everything together maybe some you know power from other heroes that does that it's very nice because you can just drop the everything down there and um, you know do damage from afar 
uh, from from relatively afar, but you know, remember, don't stay too far because your you know deconstruct has a has a has a, like a range to it. So if you stay around here, you you probably would miss it. So you know you probably have to go somewhere in this kind of range. So just uh, play around with the range. Uh, but the other thing about the um, okay, so that is more on the um, you know all the uh, this part, the power cosmic part. On the star Farah is that. Um, if you are in the movement build now, of course, you'll put in quite a lot of investment on things like board dash and so on. Uh, but for me, because since I'm more like, um, you know, EMF build, so um, I, I mean, there are many toggles really. Uh, I mean, th this is one toggle, the comics tell, which is very nice for leveling, by the way. And the, uh, another toggle is, of course, you know, polarity field for more of the uh, pass, uh, you know, uh, defensive kind of like a uh, power. And you have another toggle here for cosmic resonance, which is power and, um, you know, toughness. So among all these three, if you are into DPS, probably this is the one to go. It buff the, uh, you know, this entire tree. And the only thing that you really care is the repulse uh, because it buff this guy. That's all, and of course it leaves kind of like uh, damage over time around as well, which is kind of nice, uh, because he does dash around a little bit and very fluid. And in terms of repulse, it's kind of one of the very weird power. It does have the one second cooldown though, um, so I don't really use it every four seconds. I actually time it together with the rest of the six seconds because it becomes a little bit uh, disruptive to this. EMF is kind of counterproductive in a sense. So that is yet another thing that I don't really like about this power. But I mean, you know, there can you can only pick that many power from this tree, and then the rest of it you have to fill up from the rest of the tree. So uh, when it comes to repulse, it's always the opposite direction. So for example, uh, if you if you want to okay, give you an example, right? If you want to go if you want to go here, you have to actually aim somewhere like here. So you go there, right? So if you want to go there, you have to aim something like there, then you go there. So it is kind of weird. And uh, you know, like if you've seen some of the video, I try very hard to like, just like, you know, stay where you are. So if you go around, you know, click around yourself, it actually move just a little bit. Sometimes you don't want to move too far away because you lose the range to the deconstruct and the, um, you know, and, and, and the singularity as well as, you know, everything else. So that is the only thing I don't really like about it. Uh, but then you can use it to your advantage when you see like main ape coming, you can actually use a repulse to, to just go the other way. I always think about crocodiles when I play, um, you know, this power because, you know, crocodiles always go the other direction as you, you try to hit it from one side, they will try to go the other side kind of thing. So it's kind of weird because you have to just keep the opposite, you think the opposite direction. So you want to go there, you move your mouse there, you know, kind of thing. So uh, yeah, so that will come, come, come here instead. All right, so that is the, the repulse and then the other side you just have to one point everything because um, this is very useful uh, sorry this is very useful the temporal recall because uh, as in when I need to um, you know because I need to land all those like uh, rift subspace rift I need to land the event horizon on top of the ball so what I do usually do I just stun the boss for 2.5 seconds make sure I get everything on top and after that I get my EMF going so that is uh, the only only thing about the build alright uh, I uh, in terms of variety wise I mean if you feel that your silver server is a little bit fragile which I don't suppose you do uh, then of course you can remove all this point and put it into the, uh, the polarity field alright so they give you a little bit more like a you know defensive stat to it but um, you know I've tried various things I mean you know that, that that's all it is. I remember the power unconquered. Every uh, eight seconds, you need to use a movement power because um, you know it buff your overall um, you know stats, uh, damage, and crit as well. So don't uh, don't forget to move around. Even as you just stand there and do EMF, uh, just do a little bit of repulse. You know, make sure you either you point to yourself so that it doesn't move anywhere too much, or you point somewhere else. If you want to like get closer to the boss, you go here all right so now uh, so i hope that's useful from the build perspective the next bit is more about the rotation and gear and so on when it comes to the rotation it's extremely easy for silver server so what i've got configured is my uh, i caught the second hot bar to remind myself which toggle i'm using and after that uh, i have the f1 for board dash f2 for the uh, hyperspace side step which is the Crowd control breaker. Then F3 is the uh, temporal recall. Very important to use it just before the uh, you know you land all the signature onto the boss. So you know stay a little bit closer. Like this range is good. So uh, uh, just uh, you know very slow motion here for you. The subspace rift is one here. Then after that uh, deconstruct, reconstruct. Then after that the singularity, and uh, repulse. And then you can just continue doing EMF wave for it. 
All right, so this is the buff that you see EMF. So remember to stay a little bit close. Don't don't stay too close, uh, far away because your deconstruct may not uh, hit the target. All right, so uh, if I do it in real time, it will look something like this. So one, two, three, four. Then we pause, land the signature, and after that, uh, just go and uh, one, two, three, four. We pause and just go for it. Right. So this is the one. Uh, the make sure your reef is. Um, it's still you know uh, on all the time so you can use the uh, deconstruct reconstruct to sort of like uh, give you an idea when to use the reef uh, subspace reef so like now is a good time to use the subspace reef right so yeah so just keep it on make sure that all these things are, are there and as and when the um, the signature is up then uh, you use it and uh, that's about it really it's extremely easy and yeah, once you get all these things, I don't know why all this, the other side is getting hit as well. Wonderful. Wow, it's the Silver Surfer, man. All right. So this part of the video is about the gear. But before I do that, I have a quiz for you guys. I mean, look at Silver Surfer, how he passed through this structure here. And yeah, he can't really pass through the, uh, you know, the fences in Magneto's uh, terminals. I don't know why. There must be something wrong. All right. Anyway, uh, back to the gear. Uh, that. I mean, there are many options when it comes to Silver Server uh, on the artifacts. So I always start with artifacts first. I think you probably will still need the metasensory, but you know, nowadays the powers are getting higher and higher. And uh, now I'm hitting 50 uh, with the, of course, with the metasensory. Uh, so, you know, it depends on how, yeah, I mean, you know, I think you still need this one to hit 50, you know, let me know. And, the, uh, you know, I, I happen to want to really do a lot of goods on Silver Server because he's really special, the EMF, my favorite. So I put Gem the Curse and uh, Hand of Doom on him. Uh, as for his fourth artifact, there are actually other options as well. So I just pull out from my stash what other option you may want to consider. So things like this is kind of nice because it gives you energy damage and a bit of health. Uh, I like danger because you know once you get the five stacks, you are like 300 above the 392, 400. So there's potentially another 700 to cover any energy damage so that's nice uh, as far I mean this this role is terrible but you know if you can get the um, the uh, range but because mine is range so it may be for something for you to consider I do not know so you no know, I do have uh, quite a few quite a few of a range here so yeah I mean so this is something that you could consider as well um, for your silver server uh, because I, I know a lot of you are asking for some time like you know better artifact uh, but I, I don't really have that many better artifact uh, because I do a lot of videos. So anyway, uh, and relax wise, because he does a bit of melee and um, you know a range. I initially I thought give him the crit damage rating, but I think you know if you do a full range kind of build, I mean range is fine as well. I mean all these are very much range area. So you know I would actually think about giving him a range because then I can recycle this for my other hero that are truly hybrid on range and melee. Uh, fire barrage is very kind of like economical kind of um, you know. Um, room works for him uh, there are other many other options as well some are on, more on creek some are you know go off with cheese but i don't think i need that either because of the uh, i'm already hitting rank 50 so yeah i mean this is kind of nice but you could um, you know if you have other better rune words then yeah i mean check out my another video on rune words uh, as far as the uh, grade 70 legendary is uh, gunir but if it is like a grade 80 then of course the end the, the rod to give you the energy damage uh, that one's very nice, all right. So that is the you know use that one if you have the uh, great eighty uh, legendary a ring. Why just do anything that uh, makes sense? I mean, you know, this is not even a nice ring, but um, yeah, I should change this. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you got one of those ICP unique ring, use it. If you are movement build, of course, you can use the Midtown Manhattan uh, unique ring as well. They give you up to thirty percent buff after you use a movement power that is very powerful all right uh, in terms of unique wise i'm using all his unique and the i mean all this seems relatively relevant to me anyway so yeah i mean so i mean there's no campaign except the last one um, but i mean you know uh, most of these are relevant to me anyway so i'm just keeping it uh, in terms of the now i have two i have two costume one for cosmic petrol another for um for just the um, you know uh, cosmic terminal, but I don't think you need two costume for him. I reckon it's still quite okay, depending on your like need or you know play style. I think uh, then insignia. Why? I mean, no, yeah. I mean, I could even do a better job here. Hmm. I mean, this is as good as uh, 
rubbish for him. So yeah, don't use this one. Uh, use something else, like uh, something that give um, uh, crit damage rating, something that give uh, even more crit, and so on. So how? What? Why is this crit right now? All right. So energy crit wise is fifty six point two percent. Pretty impressive, I think. Then after that, crit damage rating two eight two. Bruto is forty nine. So Bruto is a little bit low uh, because um, hmm. yeah, Bruto is a little bit low. Strange. Hmm. So uh, and after that, the uh, brutal damage is five three three. So I would actually work towards my brutal and probably get something brutal strike here uh, for my insignia. That's how you pick uh, pick gear, by the way. So my ring, I'll uh, put something that is uh, brutal insignia, something brutal. Hope to boost up all this brutal strike rating. All right. So and after that, the uh, the pets is this one. So that's on the gear. As for the Omega system, it's pretty standard when it comes to Silver Surfer, just 10 points on spin tech, give you a little bit of uh, boost to boss, and after that, uh, Forever Compound and SO2 to give you a little bit of health and health regen. Shadow King for the uh, open up the crit and the brutal research all the way down to Phoenix Force to get the plus 10 energy. So your first order of business, once you get the sufficient number of Omega points, is to open that node. All right. So uh, gear suppression, a little bit more brutal. Uh, and after that, move on to the final tree, mutation, which is 9 on wall path, 4 on Super tooth. And I enjoy a little bit of Polaris and uh, Magneto as well, because most of his power are energy and um, uh, area, so you may as well synergize it that way. As far as the uh, hero synergy is concerned, just pick something that is crit, something that is range, as well as the energy. And after that, uh, you know, um, brutal. Uh, that's about it. All right, start off for the crit. So that's all. And the next bit of the video is about the uh, mathematics behind the hero design. As for the mathematics behind the hero, so uh, again, I mean, uh, I always take out all the gear, no Omega Point, no Hero Synergy, no Team Up Gear, Passive, and ignore the Micro Bean. Now, Micro Bean is, uh, is a very unique feature of um, Silver Server. There's a lot of like Micro Bean that hit other targets, but when it comes to modeling, a little bit hard to, to model how powerful um, a power is looking at the um, you know, Micro Bean because it depends on how many mobs are around you. So I usually just look at a single target whereby you know, in a raiding environment, in like a cosmic rush environment, that is why it matters. All right. So, uh, starting with the basics. So, eighteen k is the benchmark. So, moving on to the refracting bin, which is also one of the range that consume a little bit of uh, resource. It gives you twenty four k. So, twenty four k is uh, not really that great. So, I um, but it sort of like hit multiple enemies. So, it's again, it's a little bit hard to model and not something I will use it to uh, against the raid boss. All right. So, when you look at subspace rift. Uh, the DPS is decent, 10k as you see in other you know hero kind of guide I have looking into the damage over time power is always around there, Vulner vulnerability buff, but um, you know you can only have one rift, you can't have multiple rift. Uh, that's number one. Number two is the rift is kind of small, and after that um, you know the animation is very long. It's like uh, Jericho of the Iron Man that I really hate. Uh, dislike because of the whole everything adds up this should be a lot higher if there's only one of them and you know they take so long to cast one of them i don't know how they design a hero that way anyway uh the construct is also kind of low as well i mean this is something that i keep using but it's sort of like um uh i mean uh yeah i mean that's kind of low uh but um you know uh, but it is what it is. Then after that, you have the uh, EMF. Now EMF is something quite exciting to talk about. So as you know, EMF has uh, you know stage one, two, and three, and you know these are uh, like the first second, second second, and third second. And a beautiful thing about EMF, but uh, they've changed it such a way that uh, even if you stop casting uh, EMF within five seconds, you can pick up where it left off on the stage three. So that's nice. And after that, of course, you have the, uh, you know, with uh, one buff, two buff, three buff, what are they? They are the subspace rip, they are the event horizon, as well as the deconstruct, all right? So um, so that's why if you manage to get all three of them, plus at the stage three, the damage actually is really, really high. I mean, you look at these numbers here. But uh, in reality, uh, taking on average, you are probably probably looking at this number, if not lower, because, you know, uh, it takes time, three seconds for, for, for Silver Surfer to ramp up the kind of, the kind of like, um, you know, power. But then, you know, raid, raiding is usually a very long kind of like a uh, fight. So, you know, you could probably maintain the stage three most of the time. But then after that, uh, I think stage three with one buff, which is deconstruct, and then uh, that is actually quite doable. The, the one harder is uh, subspace rip because you need to keep casting as the boss move around. So the third one is also harder because there's a cooldown to it. So, you know, I would actually look at this one as a benchmark um, for, for, 
for EMF. All right. So uh, then, if you do not like EMF, there's another one that is called particle burst. Uh, particle burst is also pretty decent actually if you look at all these numbers here very very encouraging right so again you know uh, this also require a little bit of like uh, you know the buff one two and three so in the end you probably end up only between here and there right but you don't need ramped up and it does piercing all right so that is something that is quite nice for you know um, an environment whereby you have a lot of mobs around all right so but i still prefer emf myself event horizon is uh, again the dps is so so and um, yeah it does uh, it's, it's quite a pity though because you know you could land an event horizon but then after that the mob moves away and you know it doesn't get hit anymore that really sucks uh, after that singularity is uh, is a, actually it's a decent dps as well because uh, you know uh, this one it doesn't interrupt the casting too much so you know i use it whenever off the cooldown singularity all right uh for those who enjoy doing board dashes and i've like sort of like um try to model it using the same kind of like uh, you know it doesn't have a rate of fire or attack speed of course uh, but what you can do is that you keep pressing the uh, the button and see how many times you hit the boss it's about you know twice a second i think so you can model all these things and board dash with 10 stacks is actually pretty decent as well but of course when it comes to emf is i still prefer emf in looking at the number itself all right so uh then you have the board sweep that really kind of low i wouldn't really use it uh, and after that the repulse is another 10k dps that's nice however bear in mind that it's one second casting as well it's kind of like you know what how are you going to compare like um you know whether you should or should not do certain things is very simple right so you look at this number here you know 40k there's a total damage that we pulse does uh, of course no gear no nothing so you compare this one with the dps of uh, of emf so you know once you hit stage two uh, you're already hitting for the eight per you know that thousand uh, k per second you know that outweighs your 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 the other one so you know we we pulse is not that great but then because you know like uh like i mentioned power and conquered uh when you do movement kind of uh, power it does buff certain things uh all these power as well so you know uh, because it buff the damage rating as well as they create i think so uh, it is mainly to do that way and also when you run terminal it's very nice repulse can't clear off all, all the mobs around too but it in it, it, it by itself it's not that great because of the um, animation just something to bear in mind right keeping it real uh death from below is also um the dps is actually very low and also there's an animation so yeah i mean it is a dps loss i can see that even if you do board um because if you look at this guy 53k if you do board uh board dash is about 59k so yeah i mean i can see that it is sort of like a dps loss if you if you do a death from below all right, that's how we do it and uh the tail is very nice the tail is very nice i mean dps is very nice consider the fact that you don't really need to do much you just need to walk around so you know for those movement build if you want to max uh, the comic uh tail you have my blessing all right so uh that is all i have for silver silver i hope you enjoy this one and the, uh, you know as always any comment any questions just leave me a note here and uh, happy to hear from you see you next time goodbye